golden wildfire. A contest of beasts. Having struck down the Imperial Army's incursion, the Alliance sees an opportunity to launch a counter-invasion. The Round Table convenes and urges the plan to go forward. The Alliance Army targets Burgley's territory, just beyond the Great Bridge. They advance to seize its fertile lands, which are protected by the Empire's Minister of Military Affairs. Having been vested with my father's authority, I cast the vote for House Goneril. We vote yay. And how say you, Count Gloucester? I have decided to yield House Gloucester's seat to my son. Lawrence, you will cast your vote as the new head of our house. Before I do, might I inquire as to the position of Count Ordelia? Count Ordelia couldn't attend in person, so he was briefed in advance on this meeting's agenda. At which time, he expressed that House Ordelia would support the opinion of the Council. Then House Gloucester will join Houses Edmund and Goneril and offer no objection. We vote yea. Then with the approval of all Houses, the Alliance will move forward with the proposal. Huh. Duke Goneril's position came as no surprise, but I didn't expect Margrave Edmund to show so much interest in your plan. Margrave Edmund knows an opportunity when he sees one. I'm just glad that his calculations swung in our favor. It goes without saying, but as the leader of House Daphnel, you have my full support. But I hope you understand that some of our other frontline commanders don't share my enthusiasm. Oh, I'm well aware. I'll need to find some way to get everyone on board. The Round Table voted on our next course of action, and support for an attack on the Empire was unanimous. We need to get preparations underway. Unanimous? I was led to believe that my father would be too busy overseeing the restoration of our territory to attend. The Count made me his proxy, which I interpreted as a sign of support. That's surprising. I'd heard Ordelia territory suffered greatly when the Empire invaded. Are you sure my father has agreed to this? Our resources are limited enough as it is. I can't imagine what we could spare for an extended campaign. Is it really a good idea to keep fighting this war? Since Houses Ordelia and Gloucester suffered the brunt of the casualties in our previous battles, we plan to ask relatively little of them going forward. In fact, Margrave Edmund has generously agreed to raise the lion's share of the funds we'll need. My adoptive father views this war as just another investment. He must be expecting significant returns. And he has every right to a return comparable to his contribution. Look, this isn't something you all need to worry about. Now, Lawrence, since you're the head of House Gloucester, would you care to elaborate on your thoughts about the proposal? Given the treachery House Gloucester has shown the Alliance as of late, I did not believe we were in any position to object to your proposal. Therefore, I chose to quietly acquiesce during the round table. That so-called treachery was all part of the plan to save the Alliance. No one actually thinks your house betrayed us. Laudable results do not erase duplicitous intent. Had the winds shifted in their favor, my father was prepared to remain with the Empire. Yeesh. All right, let's ask someone else. What do you think, my friend? Hasn't the decision already been made? At this point, you should be free to speak your mind. The Imperial Army attacked the Alliance first. They need to pay for what they've done. I agree. The Empire started this war. I say we finish it. I just want to be clear about one thing. I'm not trying to invade the Empire because of some personal ambition. Seizing House Burgley's' territory is essential to the future of the Alliance. That much won't change whether we continue to wage war with the Empire or simply need a little leverage for peace talks. This fight is about protecting our future. So I'm asking you all to lend me your strength because I can't do this alone. 
Oh, all right. I'm sure you must have agonized over this decision. I suppose the die has been cast. What matters now is that we win. That's true. All right. I'll steal my resolve and fight. This battle is for everyone in the Alliance. I'm gonna fight with all my muscles. Even the ones I don't know are there! I'm in too. And I'm not about to let Geralt and his mercenaries beat me either. I may be the one drawing up the plans, but it's up to all of us to see them through. I know you won't let me down. Excuse me. got some food left. You don't want it? That Ogma Wolverine meat's super hard to come by, you know. Oh, I don't really eat meat. You can have it. Don't mind if I do, then. You know, I always feel strangely energized after eating this stuff. <laughs> he looks so pleased to be eating it. If not every day, I get to hear you laugh. Did I look funny or something? No, it's just that the look on your face made me feel happy. Instead of just watching other people stuff their faces, maybe you'd enjoy trying some yourself? I'm perfectly content just watching. Huh. Well, anyway, it seems like you've gotten more comfortable eating with me, Marianne. I have. When you told me not to act like someone I'm not, at first, I didn't know what to do with myself. But I still thought I could learn something from you. And as I talked with you more, I just got used to us seating together. I see. Then why not branch out and eat with other people too? Mealtimes are a great opportunity to make new friends after all. Making conversation and sitting around the dinner table go hand in hand. That's how we ended up friends, right? It might be a good chance to get to know someone else. What's wrong? I'm sorry, it's just... My adoptive father said the same thing to me once. He did? He often criticized me because I avoided other people so much. He said that... As the heir to House Edmund, I must be at least somewhat sociable. 
but he never bothered to understand how difficult it was for me to do that. I'm sorry. I was being insensitive, just like your father. No, no. You've done nothing wrong. But I don't think it's a good idea for me to get involved with too many people. Why? I only bring misery and misfortune to anyone who gets too close to me. That's not true at all. Why do you even think that? It is true. I know it. Okay, if that's the case, then how is it possible for us to be hanging out right now without any problems? You're right. I should have been more vigilant and kept some distance between us. But you're so kind and I just like being around you. I'm sorry. I'll stay as far away from you as I can from now on. I should go. Hey, wait! Marianne! <sighs> what am I gonna do about her? I'm stumped. Let's see. <laughs> One step at a time. carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. A moment of your time? Greetings, friend. I'd really appreciate it. are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Need something? Let's 
See you around. It'd be pretty obvious if I wasn't. But yes, I'm back in all in one piece. Well, that's a relief. However, I noticed your approach to battle hasn't changed one bit. You still charge to the front and dive right into the thick of it. I was trying to be careful, but I guess it didn't really work. Well, you are some kind of master soldier, right? I'm starting to think you might not get yourself killed after all. Huh. So now you approve of my approach. Why the change of heart? I realized that taking the lead and fighting at the front is exactly what my brother does. True. And they say Holst is the bravest commander in all of Leicester. Usually the commanders stay in the back so they can see the whole battlefield and give orders. And not my brother. Honestly, he can't stand being back there. He has to be leading the charge. That's why I used to worry myself sick every time he went off to battle. But at some point, I'm not sure when, I became convinced that my brother would never die. What made you think that? I'm not sure. But it's not like there's anyone out there who can beat him, right? When I realized that, it just seemed like a waste of time to worry about him so much. If anything, you should be pitying the chumps on the other side. Precisely. And then I realized, it's the same with you. You're just like my brother. <laughs> it's an honor to be put in the same category as Holst. Now I know I'm wasting my time worrying about you, and it's not like I can stop you anyway. I actually hope you keep doing what you do, so I can take it easy in the back. That's the plan. But I'm pretty sure I've seen you fighting up front with me recently. You even seem to be enjoying yourself. Me? Enjoying myself? <laughs> Please, if I'm fighting at the front, it's because I have no other choice. The whole time I'm fighting, I'm wishing I could be cheering everyone on from the sidelines instead. You know, yelling stuff like, smash them good, and yeah, use those muscles! That would really inspire our troops, right? And remember, this is me we're talking about. Sure, you can motivate anyone. I know, right? Next time, I'll cheer for you too. You'll see how inspiring it can be. All right, sounds good. I'll keep an ear out. My instruction comes at a high price.
Don't neglect your daily studies. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. My instruction comes at a high price. Neglect your daily studies. So, listen. What would be best? Do you have a minute? In all honesty, let's see. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. this down. No matter the path, I'll forge ahead.
Sure, if it helps. Now you will see my true value. I still have some hidden potential. Another tool in the belt. Forget this. Getting stronger. I'll put this to good use. I'll master this. can be the difference between victory and defeat. training you'll be unstoppable Wait up. <laughs> let's see I get you yourself useful
Standing on your bow. I don't know how much help I'll be, but... Okay. I am confident you'll be impressed with my efforts. We all must do our fair share. Hmm. So, yeah. Are you sure? Oh, man. Hunger is the true enemy. Anyone would love this stuff. Someone knows my weakness. Thanks. I'm surprised you know what I like. Thank you. This is wonderful. Come back whenever you're hungry. I'm busy. Absolutely. Greetings. Which battlefield are you headed to?
can't you just let me stay inside? Let's earn our keep. We'll have to give them the slip. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this goes okay. I've got it. Let's give it a shot. Now is our chance! There. Adversity is not to be feared. Simply trust in yourself and push forward. Lend me your strength. Give it a shot. Won't mean a thing if I'm not still standing on the battlefield. <laughs> 
That's some power you've got. Nicely done. Spices shall I dress you with? These people are simply begging to be hurt! Take that! It's no use. We can't gain any ground! I've got you now! Alive is kind of my thing. I'll grow as strong as I can. I won't let myself stop here. Excellency, I have a report concerning the movements of the Alliance Army. Go on. Enemy troops throughout the Alliance have marched south and are now gathering on the north side of the Great Bridge of Murden. The scale of their force is much larger than what would be expected of a defensive operation. So it's come to this, has it? Who would have imagined that the Alliance would dare threaten my territory? What do we do? Should we ask Edelgard to send reinforcements? No. This isn't worth troubling Her Majesty over. Are you sure? We lost an awful lot of soldiers when we were defeated at the bridge. The main force of Her Majesty's army has been sent to the Kingdom Front. It would be more trouble than it's worth to call them back. Besides, you remember that mercenary company that performed so well before? They're back with us. You mean the one run by that Gerald guy? I gotta admit, they do seem to know their stuff. In addition, we can expect reinforcements from that meddlesome ox woman. That should round out our numbers. Well, when you put it like that, maybe we really can't handle this. So what's next? We gonna crush him with a head-on attack? We'll meet the Alliance army at Grander Field. The area once used to stage the battle of the Eagle and Lion will serve well. After all, it has already been trampled beyond use, and I doubt the enemy will go out of their way to burn our fields, given that they plan on seizing them. I bet Holst will be part of the invasion force. He's the one who fought back all those Almiran armies. I've been dying to take him on. You'll do no such thing. I'm going to face him myself. But why? How do you know I can't take him if you won't even let me try? The fact that you don't know only proves you're not ready to face an opponent like him. Besides, Holst is hardly the only foe we need to focus on. I doubt Count Gloucester was acting alone when he devastated the Imperial Army. I'm sure the Alliance's leader, Claude, hatched that scheme. We need to be wary of him. 
flawed, huh? Yeah, he did seem like a pretty crafty guy. Tactics like that may work for some, but don't expect our house to come up with schemes of our own. We'll see through the enemy's tricks, and then quash them with our might. All right, we're gonna crush their flimsy ploys with some good old-fashioned brawling. Let's do it! General Nader, our troops are completely exhausted. Everyone's starving, and we're running out of water. I'm sorry, but I'm going to need you to bear it a little longer. If we don't ration our provisions, we won't have enough for the way back. We didn't bring enough supplies for the journey back? What is Prince Shahid thinking? I'm sure the only thing he's focused on is that fantasy of his, where he earns enough renown to secure his succession to the throne. He's so convinced he'll sup on the spoils of victory, he hasn't even bothered to prepare for defeat. Well, that explains it then. I sure hope this battle ends the way the Prince wants it to. You and me both. If we win, great. But if we stumble here, we're as good as dead. Why is His Majesty letting Prince Shahid do as he pleases? His Majesty hasn't been himself since Prince Khalid disappeared. Khalid was always his favorite, you know. Nadir, the next batch of reinforcements will be arriving shortly. A force of elite troops, courtesy of my uncle. Rejoice! Oh, even more reinforcements? The size of the army is what decides most battles. And with me in command, it should be nigh impossible for an army of this size to lose. Well, actually, advantageous terrain may be more important. We can continue this later. March out to greet the new arrivals and get them into formation. I will go rally them afterwards. <laughs> If only we could feast on lofty speeches, then we'd eat like kings. An army this size limits the tactics we can use. Ugh. They're going to think we're just a horde of barbarians! This is no fun at all. If only you were here, kiddo.
Good to go. Starts now. I'll do what I've got to do. That's it. I'll do whatever it takes. Showtime, loves. Shall we be off? I will not see my family's good name sullied. Out of the way. I got this. Not bad. The stronghold's out! to retreat is a vital strategy. If I were to die here,
this was a possibility. <laughs> Looks like that's it for us. Too easy. That was fantastic work. I've got it. Hurry up and help me, you fools! Try this. Let's see how this gets. Now is. <laughs> One step closer to my goal. We're done for. The rest is up to you. Okay, what's next? Time to make a name for ourselves. I can't say I like how this is unfolding. Let's try this. I'd better back them up. Now is our chance. This place won't be a problem anymore. I need to lose this stronghold.
cheering to the others. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. 